because we couldn't have done it without these two. Hello. And Katrina wants to do a Ross Perot for everybody. Please. I didn't, I didn't really, but I guess. <laughs> Am I talking French? Am I spewing mercies and bondors? We'll get to your questions, but can I finish? You can finish, but I think Lisa has a video for you guys. So take it away, you don't want to see me, you want to see all that. And let's get this trending, let's hashtag all that and hashtag kamikaze. And we're going to get pictures out for you guys. And hopefully we can all sing the theme song. Well thank you Regina, you're one of my best friends. And I mean look at what she's created. Like I knew kamikaze from the very first year and it's just mind blowing to see how big it's gotten. And thank you guys so much for coming. Alright let's get started. Uh, here's our intro video, enjoy! members of all that. <laughs> we have so many people. They're a wonderful group of people. I know you want to see them, so let's not even waste any time. Let's bring them all out here, but I need you guys to give them a big round of applause. I need you guys to go crazy. I need you guys to make some kind of noise. Doing mosaic. Woo, woo. All right, I'm Angela 
Cosmic Bakes. <laughs> Season 1 and 2. Randy and Mandy, Arco, Beth for Good Burger. Check, check. Hi, I'm Elisa Reyes. <laughs> Seasons uh, one through three, original OG. Um, OG. I, uh, I would say Kiki the Island Girl with LB over there. And uh, some falafel the genie and bag and sag and Mary. <laughs> What's up, comic <laughs> I was on multiple seasons of all that. <laughs> I don't remember how many. Uh, I was on that though. And uh, yeah, uh, Good Burger, Repair Man, yeah. yeah. Airboy, and Piece of Face. Yeah. Uh, just the whole Still bunch of parents, man. Yeah. I love y'all. Shut up! everybody, my name is Josh Schroeder. I feel like Kel was on all that for 150 years. <laughs> it was so long ago. Uh, six, I think six seasons. I was, uh, yeah, I was on there, and uh, I kept showing up, and they wanted me to leave, but I wouldn't. Uh, and I guess uh, Kel mentioned Earboy. Everybody, yeah. yeah. Uh, Detective Dan. And uh, I like Tandy, the redheaded, oh, yes. crazy wig girl, I guess. <laughs> and now Danny Tamborelli. <laughs> That is true, Josh. Yeah, I know. So you can touch my locks as, as much as you like, Josh. Uh, yeah, three, three. I did three years in all that, you know. It was all right. It was kind of rough sometimes, but it's all right, you know. Uh, I had to take over for Lori Beth doing vital informations, you know. That was pretty hard. Uh, Jack Campbell, Fat Cap, you know. That was, that was pretty good. Cheeseburger Doyle, Private Eye. Held a slumping fist, you know. I got all the, uh, the, 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 the tough roles, you know? I don't know why I'm talking like this. What character are you doing now? This is my New York I Live in Brooklyn oh. talk. So it's, too late, it's too late to introduce new characters at the show, dude. You're not... That's okay. He's a method actor. He's a method actor. Mark. He's, a method. he's been working I just knew there'd be a lot, for, there's a lot of for, agents in the audience. Oh. You can do this really good. Okay. It's still Brooklyn thing, right, you know? Right. Hey. Go Mets. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my name is Mark Saul. I was on the show yeah. season... Thanks, Kel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was on the show season five and season six. I played characters like uh, Stuart and Reinhardt the Dancing Monkey Boy. Yeah. And other, other wacky guys. <laughs> We're like a typewriter, it goes all the way back. Uh, my name is Lisa Foyles, and I was, on, I was on All That for Seasons 7, 8, 9, and 10. And my most memorable characters were probably Kathy from Sugar and Coffee. With sugar and coffee. Uh, Claudia, the goth girl from Slumber Party. With my dead squirrel deadles. And uh, I was hoping Jack would be here so uh, I could do Together Forever and uh, Bridget. Heather Slumber. Darling and then tag them off the stage. But, you know, maybe next time. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Christina Kirkman. Um, uh, seasons 9 and 10. Uh, Sunshine Sally. Um, so very similar. She won the contest for All That's Funny as Kid in America. Like, this is the winner. Uh, so Sunshine Sally, um, I played some like deranged uh, swamp creature named Squat. Uh, and I was a rapping baby little embryo. Uh, so yeah, that was... Hello. I don't know, I just felt like... I there's so many cast members, they're just going to show up throughout the I know, it's like a billion. Who's under the table? Hey guys, I told you from it. I was on, I guess, 7 to 10 or 6 to 10. Okay. Um, seasons of all that. Uh, I played uh, Bridget Slumber Party. I was Bridget. I did uh, Abby Rhodes, which is a recurring, recurring character in many different weird things. And skits, but um, anyway, I did a lot of good things, and uh, I'm really happy to be here. This is all really awesome. Thank you all. I knew it. I knew him. I got a big kiss. Oh, she just got here. 
anyway, it's great to see all of you guys here to support us, and I'm like, uh, really happy to be here, so thank you. Thank you all for Uh, I am Ryan Coleman. I was on seasons 9 and 10. Uh, I am uh, more so known for playing the more underwhelming version of Ed from Good Burger. That people did not, I read the comments on YouTube. Nobody fucked with it. So, thanks. But, uh, and that and also Jim Tasty. <laughs> yeah, this is my dad. First half bomb. Nice. Hi, everybody. Somebody mentioned Know Your Stars. Oh, yeah. Know Your Stars. Know Your Stars, right? Yeah. Know Your Stars. Know your stars. Know your stars. Oh. Like, it's like all that DLC. We just keep adding <laughs> more people. Oh, ever, 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 ever. I'll just stand. Five hours later, and they all that reunion battle. <laughs> Before we get to him, you don't know who I am. I'm Joe Lockman. I was in season nine. I played Dr. Schmidt, and I'm here because I'm the world's expert at getting attacked with sugar and coffee. <laughs> I'd like to test that in the green room. <laughs> we shall. <laughs> Are there any more cast members? Uh, well, we have to get executive music. Wait, no. uh, I have to get a selfie. How's it going? Selfies are important, guys. Uh, I ran yeah. from the parking lot, you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he got his cardio in. He also got a Giovanni kiss yeah. on his face <laughs> as well. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. Say your name. Oh, hey, I'm Jack DeSena. <laughs> I was on seven, season 7 through 10 with these kids back here. I played uh, Fireman. Randy Quench, volunteer fireman. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were the I thought you were the world's expert. <laughs> See? <laughs> Just to getting victimized by it, not actually having you know. So this is great. We, obviously we see we got all the fans here checking you guys out here today. Is this amazing for you? I mean, the show came out in the 90s. It definitely had an impact on a lot of us. We always talk about just the SNL for, for our generation. Is it still awesome or interesting for you guys to see that 2015, we're still talking about this show, people still love you the way they do, and that it still holds a heart for not only our generation, but the next generation they're now getting into as well? I, I'm excited because I get to tell the, my parents that they're not the only one that loves me. <laughs> <laughs> and you're proof! Thank you! <laughs> Without you guys, all that wouldn't be what it is. So we just want to thank you guys because you guys are so freaking loyal. We just adore you guys so much. Like seriously. Yes. We definitely want to thank you guys. Uh, the new generation is awesome. My kids are actually here. They're seven and eight, and they love the show. So it's amazing. Yay! What do you, why do you feel like this show has such an impact? Was there a certain style to it, or just the way that you guys were that you felt like this show had that had that heart? I think it was culturally diverse. I mean, I'm Irish, Italian, Dominican from New York City. You know what I mean? And literally, like, we have a United Nations of different actors here. And being able to do comedy at such a young age, which is really hard for an actor to do, was honestly, like, so much fun. We were a big family working in Universal when we first did the pilot in the first season, and then getting the opportunity to come back out here to Paramount Studios, and then working with some other, you know, cast members that came on at later seasons. It was like an evolving family. And it literally was just fun every day. <laughs> I would say also that uh, our, the material we were giving out was of a higher quality. It wasn't some talking down to kids, sure. dopey, you know, there was there was odd social commentary, even if you didn't get it at the time. Yeah. <laughs> we were, right, we were and, trying uh, to make each other laugh a lot yeah, of the times. Yeah. So the writing had a lot to do with it. 
and writing the writers um, tailoring sketches to our skills and stuff like that that really brought it brought the best out of the show so you guys could enjoy it <laughs> and, and it had something for everyone you know like it, it was it was nice that you could sit down and watch all that with your parents and like you know, while slapsticky at times and a little childish, there's also there were jokes in there that might have gone over, you know, the kid's head, but the parents got it. There's that quality time that, you know, you could actually spend with, with your family watching TV, which yeah. I know. We're trying to bring families together. Yeah. 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 Yes. There's a lot of TV shows nowadays. Watch TV. A lot of the television shows today are not like really family oriented. And back then, I think it was like you could really sit everybody down. It didn't matter which age. You didn't have to put your hands over anyone's ears or cover their eyes. We were. It was pure fun. And as guest yeah, actors, when we guest actors came in, these guys were so great to work with, were such pros and so funny and so fun to work with uh, that it was a real joy because I have a lot of friends who guested on the show and we all say the same thing. We remember all that and we remember it fondly just how great it was to work with you guys. Aww. Absolute pros. Oh, that Thank must have been that cast because yeah, we were really nasty. terrible. We were yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not you. Beat them all up. <laughs> to me, the show was special because it was nothing else. There was nothing else like it on TV. It was like the perfect marriage of live theater and a television show. We had the luxury of, you know, pre-filming and we could mess up and ad-lib and have bloopers and do it over again. But then, you know, when we filmed in front of the live audience, in front of you guys on Fridays, it was, I mean, that was like live theater. We fed off your energy and it was the most fun. And those were the best years of my life. These are my family right here. Yeah. <laughs> so with the, with the OG cast, the original cast, you guys filmed at the beautiful Nickelodeon Studios. <laughs> In Universal Studios yeah. in Orlando, Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Florida. Yeah. Florida. Yeah. Florida. Yeah. Remember the Nickelodeon Studios there? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Did that make it a, a different experience as opposed to like filming something right here in LA or are you usually where you place? Yeah, yeah. Because at lunch I could go um, get on some rides. I could go play on the other sets. I could go eat all the slime. <laughs> I used to eat the slime. It was awesome. I mean, like literally. Like the, the Universal Studios areas where we shot also the opening credits where we're jumping on the trampoline and stuff like that. Uh, we definitely had a lot of perks in Florida's amazing state to grow up in and whatnot. And then coming out to California was even like woohoo, fancy. We got Beverly Hills and all these different places, but uh, Florida was definitely my favorite. I would and say. there was also the, the history of it. That's where Clarissa filmed, that's where Gala Gala films. You to you. Shelby Wu. Shelby Wu. Shelby Wu. So it was cool. We had people that had worked on the shows that we watched before we were on Nickelodeon. You kind of feel like it was almost like you had like a Nickelodeon school because you had all the different shows going on. Is that was that what it was like? That you guys kind of shout out to Chuck Yerger, our teacher, <laughs> yeah. and his magic briefcase. Wow. And his yes, and his magic briefcase. That, that sounds so sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'll come to you. What is full of learning help? It was. You open it up and he had like protractors hey. and scissors. Oh, hey. Hey, girl. Christy Noyes. Christy Noyes. I'm telling you guys, we're going to have like a hundred people by the end of this pass. All that cast, all, all that cast members come to the stage now. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to cut this off. Symbol. I think one out of all the people Then the Hey Dude cast is going to show up. Then my brother and me is going to show up. <laughs> so we got a couple of people. Uh, uh, introduce yourselves and the season all that you're on and your some of your favorite characters that you play, Chris. Hey, I am Christy Knowings. I'm Ooh, yeah. I was on seasons four through, set, through six, and I I love playing Brenda Stone and whatever Jessica. Yeah. 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 And uh, I love playing. Um, you love Miss Plum. I I, I guess I'm great. Oh, sorry. I, uh, <laughs> Nothing beats Miss Fingerly, so you know. But I still love playing Miss Plum. Um, yeah, I love Brenda. I love uh, Lori Bankhead. So uh, that came, she came a little bit later, but I really enjoyed um, playing her as well. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. <laughs> um, my name is uh, Brian Hearn. <laughs> Um, I, uh, I played Zip Feet in Cab Java, um, and then I played, uh, I played a little fetus, uh, 
<laughs> which is like my personal favorite. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, I was on seasons uh, seven and eight with these yeah. lovely people, and um, yeah, I love being here. This is awesome. Man. <laughs> So, uh, so for the newer cast, well, how was that transition? Because we had, you know, we had the seasons going on before, and then they kind of did the reboot for a lot of you guys. Was that a fun experience, being sort of the new, all that, or was it a challenge for like you had to keep up the legacy of, of the English? Um, it was, it was kind of mixed. Like we were super stoked, that man, we need to do the trampoline thing, like the original cast, you know. Um, but we were. We were really stoked to do it, and, but then on the other hand, we were like, okay, we've got some big shoes to fill. We want to create our own way. We want to, we want to make a statement. There you guys is shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they recycled the bottle of water. We literally like all went through probably like well, most of us. Like, I know that a few of us did more like seven auditions to get to. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Seven. <laughs> Shoes to fill, and we—I think we filled them, though. I think we did an awesome job, and I'm really proud of all of us. Before and now, uh, we all are. And then we're all here together. It's just awesome. I'm just very happy. That's all. I'm, I'm a and person who like hates change. So <laughs> when I found out they were bringing all that back, I was like, oh, obviously I'm gonna be watching that. And they were like, no, we want you to audition. And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't kidding. They came back. They're not gonna do it. So um, no, but like once we like once we like got into like the groove and like really got into it and like started having like some real fun and like every Friday the live audience was there. It was like okay, yeah, we've done it. We're doing it. And and then like some of you guys came back to like represent. It was yeah, awesome. It was, awesome. was a lot of fun. I think that was a highlight for a lot of us um, when we first originally got cast, they made us do like a two, two, three week summer camp. Remember we had to like, really? Yeah, wow. yeah we had to do like, we, we had a boot camp. camp. to go to camp. Yeah, we, we had, had a big shoes to fill. Yeah, yo, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we had huge shoes to fill. And they made sure we went through it for y'all. Yeah, we, we had to do our, our improv boot camp. We had to like create It was like calisthenics. Stuff. Like we, we really had to make sure that we were the new league of the I had not yeah. known. Coach Creek uh, Jumping Jacks. One, <laughs> two, three, two. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good work, Steve. Kel, I think you should do your good. Yeah! Oh, yeah. 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 Jimmy Fallon or something like that. Yeah. It was weird. I was like, where did it? It was so weird. And now I'm here. And now we're here. Again. Yeah, Kel, tell us about that. Because uh, Jimmy Fallon, Keenan, and Kel reunited and did a good burger skip together. Right? Shout, shout out to Keenan, man. Make some noise for Keenan. He's out. That was awesome, man. I mean, like, Keenan and I back into the suit, and he had the Lester Oaks construction worker hat on. Woo! It was awesome, man. Like, we were right back in it, and I remember seeing the wig in the dressing room, and it was, like, glowing, like, <laughs> Put it on, man. It was just, a, it was awesome. Jimmy was awesome. And we love you. We love all of you. We love the fans, man. And it's awesome hearing people come up and say, I was having a bad day when I was a kid, but then when I went home and watched all that, it made everything better. So I, it's really cool that it's a part of you all's childhood. And man, thank you for watching, man. We love all of you. Woo! Yeah, so. huh? what oh, I just said thank you all. Thank you oh, all yeah. for that way. Thank you guys said, huh? so much what? for like, making our lives and our childhood. Like A lot of us were, well, the newer castmates were saying, like, this is the closest to a high school reunion we're going to get to. Because, yeah. yeah, go to school? Yes. Like, different. You no, know, we went to school. We not even went to school. But, like, this, this is our classmates. Yeah, like, this is who we like got excited to see. And I think all of us, yeah, yeah we jumped at the opportunity. Let's just admit it, we're lucky to be alive. We are. Yeah. 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 We're lucky to be alive. We're using full sentences. I mean, this is all good stuff. Right? I, I was convinced you wouldn't be here, Josh. <laughs> And I think one of the coolest moments that happened in the show is when you did the uh, 100th episode special because you got to work with the yeah. in that. Yeah. 
So what was that experience like coming back? There, there was one sketch where there was like literally 12 characters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a mess. Yeah. But it was awesome. Randy Quench yeah. and coffee yeah. and sugar. And, and it was like a cluster. And, and Jack Campbell fat cop and, and Detective and Dan. And, yes. It was a it mish, was, it was a mishmash. It was, it was a great. 10 minute long sketch, long, five long sketch in, in all that history. It was it was just great to have both oh, generations sorry. of the show there and uh, to see the to people respond to it after ten years, you know, ten years of being on the air is pretty great. Like Kel was saying, we're, we're here because the fans love it, and we're talking about it, you know, tw for some of us over twenty years ago. Um, so to be relevant even now is just a pretty amazing thing. So. Yeah. 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 I, I want to say one thing that I was actually just now I remember because you brought up that sketch um, from the ten year anniversary. But now one of my actually the only time I've ever been proposed is that how you say it? Someone like proposing to me was hell. <laughs> Hey, what? No, it was the old man. It was Coach Creed. Coach Creed. Coach Creed had a girlfriend. Coach Creed had a girlfriend. Coach Creed had a girlfriend. I don't know if you saw it. And he was proposing. And he was trying to propose. And his proposal kept getting messed up by Fat Cop and Principal Pimpel. Uh, he started with me. I know. It's all funny. Yeah. You're speaking my language. Yeah. 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 Abby Rose didn't have much of a brain. <laughs> okay. So yeah, so since it was a Nickelodeon show, you obviously broke a lot of things, oh, got yeah. a lot of things dumped on you. Are there any special experiences that you remember of Ooh. slime or food or windows crashing? Wait. A couple. Oh, Christina? Yeah. Slime. Christina? Ah, uh, yeah, this one's bad. Uh -oh. um, so Sunshine Sally was like my first big character, so there was a lot of pressure as is, and then it was in front of a live audience. And me and Lisa were sitting on the bed, and I had to throw a hook through the window, which appears very nice on YouTube, but that's not what happened. Um, so the window was made out of sugar glass, and I had to throw the book behind me, and the window was supposed to break. Uh, yeah, that took about 50 tries, and it was in front of a live audience, so I think everybody was getting really annoyed, and the, everyone had to like come next to me and try to throw it, like we couldn't get it. Finally, I get it, and I broke character, and I went, yes! And I just looked over at everyone, and they went, oh, God. <laughs> and they had to like, replace the window and do it again, and uh, yeah, so. Uh, You're the baby, so. Wait, you couldn't really blame me. I was 10, and I just smiled, so no one really blamed me. But if I did it now, they'd be like, no, you can't do that. Wait, at the one where I fell on stage, do you guys remember Stacey Chichat? Okay, so this was also in front of a live audience. A lot of bad things happen in front of a live audience. So we're doing Stacey Chichat. I'm about to do the end of the scene. They gave me an office chair, but it had wheels on it, so somebody forgot to put the brakes on it. So I go to sit down, and I like hit the ground hard. They thought I hit my chin on the table, and I almost did, but I popped right back up, and I was like, all right, let's go, everybody, let's just keep going, I'm gonna throw out the window. And, and yeah, that, that that's probably still on YouTube, too. <laughs> falling in front of a live audience. Hi. I'm glad YouTube didn't exist. Oh my god. <laughs> I did a Randy and Mandy once where uh, they were the chocolate children. And chocolate children. I was playing like a Julia Child type person and I was supposed to um, squirt chocolate sauce out my nose. And it went fine in the morning when we shot and then the live audience came in. And when the live audience came in, I went to shoot up my nose and it went right in my eye. Which is like really uncomfortable. It's bad. And uh, it was just, I really tried to go on, but it was just, you know, this mess. I and uh, so that was, a, that was a good one. I don't remember which season it was, but I was a live audience. Um, I think it was the uh, cold opening, and I wasn't paying attention. It was that scene where we always run up the stairs. I was the last one, and um, I was looking down, going, everyone was looking up and going around a pole. And I uh, was <laughs> up too late and ran smack dad in. So I had like a mild confession, and I'm like, hey, it's all my back! <laughs> so that was like my experience. In my episode, besides being uh, lifted through, uh, being pulled through a ceiling with ceiling tiles and stuff falling all over me, you had to learn the skill 
of having sugar and coffee poured on you in rapid succession from an actual vat where they turn on a spigot and it just hit you. And every one of us had to have a little, a little a learning curve about doing it. Because you had to do the sugar first so that the, the coffee would get rid of it and, cho and choke it out. So it was either choked to death or drowned. <laughs>